loves welcome or welcome back to my channel this is your girl shay and i am back with a new video today's video is going to be me showing you step by step on how you can make waterproof custom labels for your business in this video i'm going to be showing you how i make my labels for my skincare jars uh, also i will be showing you what products that i do use to print out my labels and make them waterproof so the first thing that you want to do in order to make your custom labels is you need to find some type of app or um, website that allows you to create labels uh, one of the sites that I use personally is canva.com. I have been using Canva for a couple of years now and I pretty much use it uh, for anything that I need to make for my business. I actually have the Canva Pro, which is a paid subscription, but you can also use Canva for free. So for my skincare business, I have two different size jars that I use for either my body butters, body scrubs, or my whip soaps. And um, my body butter is a six ounce jar. So what I went ahead and did is, of course, I measured the length as well as the width of the jar. And I went ahead and created a design. These are my body butter labels. And I'll do like a quick demonstration on how you can make your own label uh, for your jars butters and then I also actually have um, labels that I created for my whip soaps my whip soaps are a taller jar and it's about like a 10 ounce jar so I went ahead and did the measure measurements for that jar as well and created a design in Canva using those measurements so to create a design, all you have to do is go ahead and click on um, create a design. And if you have, you know, the exact measurements of, how, of the size of your design, all you have to do is go to custom size and it'll ask you for the width and the height. You need to use centimeters. So with centimeters, I'll go ahead and put in the width. And for this, I'm going to actually show you how I do with the body butters. So my body butter, the width is 11.2 centimeters. And the height of the label that I want for my six ounce jars is 3.6. So when I, once I go ahead and key that in, then all I have to do is click on create design. Go ahead and show me a blank design. Now, if you're not for sure exactly how you want your design to look, you can always use Canva different templates. So what I wanted for my body butter jars is I wanted a background to kind of mimic what the body butter is supposed to be. The background to show what the scent will be and in order to get this type of background all I do is go into photos which is on the side and I'll type in you know lemon pound cake and it'll come up with different photos that you can use to add to your background of your label. I decided to use this background for my uh, label. The next thing that I do is, of course, add my logo. I already have a logo already created, which I created it in Canva, and then I uh, removed the background of it so this easily added to my label. So I decided to speed up this part of the video. Um, I'm just basically adding in the required information that is supposed to be placed on your labels, which is the type of product that it is, the name of the product, the net weight, as well as the ingredients and the expiration date. So 
now that your label is completely finished, the last thing that you have to do in Canva is of course, save the label to your uh, computer. And in order to do that, you wanna click on the share button up here, scroll down to download. You can um, download it as a PNG, you can download it as a uh, JPEG, or JPG, um, it gives you different options on how you wanna save your design. I always save it in PNG because it gives the best quality when it comes to how your label will look once printed out. So once you download it to your computer, the next thing that you wanna do is you want to find a, uh, a website that allows you to print labels. I personally use either Avery.com or I use online labels.com. When it comes to my labels for my jars, I always use uh, online labels.com, which I will show you guys right now. The online labels.com website. Um, I already have an account with them. I've been using them for a very long time to print out my labels at home. So what you want to do is you want to create an account with online labels. Then the next thing that you want to do is click on design and templates, which will take you to their label designer um, section of their site where you can go ahead and start printing out your personal labels. So you can also order blank labels from onlinelabels.com. Previously, do a tutorial on how to make custom labels, and the custom labels that I did use was actually from Amazon. It is by the brand um, Any Label. It is you can use these for laser as well as inkjet uh, printers, and the size of it is 8.5 by 11. I really no longer use these for my labels because I noticed that when I did use them, these. They wouldn't stick to my jars. I only use these to put on my packaging boxes. Purchase uh, online labels, label sheets as well. Um, I did get these, which I'm going to show you guys. It's already cut to a certain size. I found a more affordable or cheaper option, which is from Amazon. And I actually found these vinyl sticker paper sheets. Um, they come in either, I think, matte or glossy. Uh, the size, of course, is a standard printing paper size, which is 8.5 by 11. And they can be used for inkjet as well as laser printers. And these are durable. They are water resistant, as you can see here. And they are a full size um, sheet just like the other ones. So it looks like this, very good quality. Um, it does not feel cheap, they feel thick. So I'm gonna show you guys how I go ahead and print out my labels using these sheets. In, in the online label uh, site, the, the name of the label that I use is OL177. Okay, so this is one that I already created. It has uh, a few of my whip soap labels that I went ahead and added to the uh, blank label sheet. The next thing that I do is go under images. So once you click on images, it will pretty much show all the labels that you downloaded from your computer into online labels. So all you have to do is click on it and then it'll add it to your sheet and you can pretty much duplicate as many as you want by clicking control C and control V just to copy and paste. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on print labels, then print now. So it will give you an option to download to your computer and then print or you can actually just print it straight from your browser. Basically how you want your printing paper to look or how you want your labels to look on your printing paper. And then whatever printer that you have, you can go ahead and print it out. Okay, so I got a lot of questions in my previous 
a tutorial about what printer do I personally use to print out my labels. I use this Canon. It's very, very old, but it is the Canon MP210. I've had this printer for, I believe, maybe over 10 years. So I don't even know if they even make this um, this style anymore. Um, but you guys can use whatever printer that you choose. I okay, so this is pretty much how my labels come out once I print them. As you guys can see, they're very uh, pigmented, very colorful. And then the last thing that I do, of course, is I'll just go ahead and cut them into single labels. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. I will demonstrate to you guys how these uh, labels are waterproof. Um, I, the last thing that I do do when it comes to doing my labels is I do actually add a laminating sheet because I do want my... I want to make sure that the labels have like a glossy feel, glossy look to them. So I actually picked these up from Amazon and I will link, uh, give you guys the link down below in the description section. So in order to do this, basically what I do is take one of the sheets. You, you, cause I only want you, yeah, cause I only want you. Okay, you guys, so that is about it for this tutorial. I know it was pretty long, but I want it to be detailed as possible so you guys can go ahead and make labels yourself. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. You, you, cause I only want you, yeah. Cause I only want you, yeah. Cause I only want you, yeah.